Hey travelers, it's LSD789 with another build video. I want to show you my 2.0 minion summoner handler tank build for apocalypse difficulty. So let's go right into it. Using the new Soulstone amulet, you get this uh, if you go to the infested abyss, and all the way in the end is an NPC, and he gives you the profane Soulstone. It's a weaker version of this. But uh, once you give this, uh, if, once you give the profane Soulstone to the keeper in the labyrinth, he will turn it into the Soulstone Amulet. Uh, I will link a video in the description how to get this. But yeah, this one gives you 30% uh, uh, summon damage and uh, summon movement speed by 30. So yeah, summons include your flyers and your doggy and also the weapon mods we have on our guns. So yeah, this one will increase our movement speed and give them damage. So yeah, it's really good. Um, also using the Soul Guard Ring, gain a stack of Bulwark for each active summon. So, at maximum, we have, we have two flyers, we have one doggy, and we have the, the night guard, which count as two. So, already at uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then you get the familiar, that's six summons at maximum. But uh, Bulwark only stacks to five. So, yeah, at maximum, we're going to have five stack of Bulwark, but just uh, using our skills and our, our mods. Uh, so, yeah, this is a really good tank build, but also doing a lot of damage. Then also I'm using the Burden of the Destroyer ring, decreases the range of all firearms by 35 uh, and increasing all damage by, by 15. So this will decrease your range for your firearms, but who cares, we're just using our summons and our minions. So yeah, and that, uh, then it will also increase your damage by 15%. And that all damage includes your summons and includes your weapons. So this one's really good. Using the Soul Shaft ring, increasing all damage dealt by 5% for each active summon at a maximum of 15. So yeah, again, we're going to have 6 summons, but it caps out at 15. But yeah, 15 extra damage for, for everything is really good. Then I'm also using the Soul Link Ring. This is a ring from the first game, uh, but I put it in this game as well. Uh, summons lifesteal uh, 5% of the base damage dealt, which is returned to the wearer as health. So yeah, when your summons do damage, they will lifesteal off the enemies, and then they give that lifesteal back to you. So yeah, this one will keep you alive. This bulwark ring will keep you alive, and then these two rings do damage, and the amulet will do damage. So yeah, we're going to do a lot of damage, but we're still tanking. Uh, let's go over the weapons. I'm using the Chicago typewriter. You can also use the Black Ma or any weapon that doesn't have a mod. I like the Chicago. Then uh, on it, I have the Night Guard mod. This mod you get from uh, the Awakened King DLC. It's really good. It counts as two summons. Uh, summons Night Guard to aid in combat. The guard hurls penetrating slashes at a random enemy, dealing 87 damage. The night guard will melee enemies in close, uh, if close enough for the same damage, and they last 26 seconds. So yeah, they will, uh, they will shoot penetrating slashes, so uh, like uh, penetrating bolts, and they will go in melee if close enough. But on it, I'm using the harmonizer uh, mutator. Uh, attached mod deal 20% additional damage. And generate 25 additional damage, uh, uh, 25 additional mod power for the stowed weapon. So yeah, your uh, night guard will do more damage, and they will generate mod power for the other gun. If you don't have this night guard, you can try the uh, root lash. These are three summons, oh no, two summons, uh, uh, but I don't really like them. But you can use this one, or you can use the the space crab. They also count as a summon. Uh, I think there's another one that counts as a summon, but uh, I think the Night Guard is the best. Then as a melee weapon, I'm using the World's Edge. You can use uh, any melee weapon you like, but I like this one for the charge attack. Uh, and also on it, I put on the Tainted Blades, which applies Corroded. And if an enemy is corro uh, corroded, uh, his armor class will be lower, so everything uh, will do more damage. So your summons will do more damage to corroded enemies, you do more damage to corroded enemies. That's why Corroded is really good. I'm also using the MP60 with the Familiar weapon mod. Summons a uh, very familiar to aid in combat. The Familiar selects a random enemy within 10 meters and slashes through them for 146 damage each attack. Familiar will select a new target when the previous one dies and this one stays for 19.5 seconds. This Familiar you get by uh, catching the Dream from the Huntress with the, with the dream catcher and uh, once you kill her in her dream that's how to get the familiar and on it I'm using the, the feedback mutator 
Using this weapon mod, uh, generate 20% of a single charge value as passive mod power over 10 seconds. Does not stack. Uh, mod damage generates 15% of the base damage dealt as mod power. So yeah, this one will make it so your familiar comes back quicker because this one has 1000 uh, mod power requirements. Uh, and this one will also make your familiar come back quicker. So yeah, we're gonna have uh, our summons of our weapons like almost back constantly and then our flyers will uh, stay alive and our doggy. Um, I'm also using the True Kingdom Crown. Uh, if you don't have this one, I will link a video how how to get this. It just looks nice, and I'm using the Disciple armor set, again, just because it looks nice. Then also I'm using the Tranquil Heart. Uh, passive, passively grants 2% health regen uh, per second, and on use, all health regen for 15 seconds. So this one will give you just 2, per, uh, two health regen per second, just passive regen, which is really nice. Also, I'm using the uh, skill damage uh, mod, uh, a health mod and a uh, damage reduction mod. And the skill damage uh, is useful because your doggy counts as a skill and your flyers count as a skill. So they will do more damage and the more damage they do, the more you heal with it. So yeah, you can also use the new uh, profane heart, which gives you base lifesteal. But I like the two health regen uh, better. Let's go over the archetypes. Using the handler as a main, as a prime, uh, primary archetype, mainly because uh, you get extra revives. So if you go down, your doggy will pick you up, or if a mate of your goes down, your doggy will pick him up. Uh, you can also use the summon as a prime, but I don't like to use uh, to shoot my summons. I know they give more damage, but uh, I, li I like the extra revive, just in case I need it. Uh, I'm using the support dog skill. You can also use the attack dog for more damage. But this support dog, um, if you hold the button, you will do a howl, uh, which grants you 2% health regen per second and uh, gives you 25% movement speed for all allies. And this uh, healing will just will also heal you, but also your flyers. So if your flyers take damage, you just use your uh, support dog skill and then it will heal your flyers. Um, also, uh, you get the damage perk, which grants you 30 range, melee, and skill damage. And again, the skill damage is useful because we're using the flyers and the doggy. And uh, gives crit damage for those uh, damage types. You get extra movement speed. Uh, you get extra revive speed and damage reduction when reviving. And once you use a relic, uh, your doggy will be fully healed if he's alive and give damage and resistance. It comes with the kinship uh, trait for friendly fire damage dealt and received reduction by 80. So it's really good uh, if you play with a team, you don't do damage to them and they don't do damage to you. Then also I'm using the summoner as a secondary. You can also use the engineer, but the thing with the engineer I don't like is uh, your, your turret will run out of ammo and your flyers, they will run out of health. But if you keep up their health, they, they do more damage, I think, overall than the engineer. And I'm using the two flyers. You can also use the reaver. But um, if you have the flyers, you get two of them, and it will stack uh, two, ta two stacks of bulwark and two stacks of soul shard. And if you have the reaver, it only yeah, stacks up once. But yeah, you can use the reaver. Using the, it gets the dominator damage perk. Grants 35 increased mod skill and explosive damage. And again, the skill damage is for your skills, and the mod damage is for your weapons. It's really good. And... Uh, Team perks not important, this one's also not important. And the relic perk, so when you use a relic, uh, your minions will heal themselves and increase that damage and crit chance. So yeah, when you use a relic, your doggy will heal and your uh, flyers will heal and do more damage. Also comes with amazing uh, recruit uh, trait. Increase health regen by 15, uh, by 1.5. So yeah. This one gives you 1.5 regen, and this one gives you 2.5, so that's already 3.5 passive regen, always. So let's go over the traits really quick. Using the Fortify trait for the armor effectiveness. Um, also the Kinship trait for the 80% damage reduction against friendlies. Uh, Recruit for the 1.5 health regen. Vigor for the maximum health. Spirit for the mod power regeneration. This is a new chakra trait. Uh, increase the mod duration by 30. 
and that includes your familiar, he stays longer, and your night guard stays longer. And this one you get by uh, completing the campaign, basically. You need to go to Root Earth, and all the way in the end you get this uh, trait. Um, I'm using the Blood Bond trait. Summoner, minions absorb 10% of damage taken by the caster. So if you take damage, 10% of the damage goes to your summons instead of you. So yeah, it's, actually, it's just damage reduction on top of your damage reduction. I'm also using the Bark Skin for damage reduction and the Expertise for the skill cooldowns. So if your flyers go down, you get them 20% back quicker. It's really good. I'm also using uh, 9 points in Rugged for the maximum uh, summon health. So your flyers have 90% more health. And I have Siphoner for the 3% base lifesteal. And that 3% lifesteal stacks together with the Soul Stone. So we have 8% lifesteal. Uh, the Concoctions, you can use the Mudtooth uh, mud Tonic for the maximum health or the Meat Shake. I prefer the Meat Shake for the damage reduction. So yeah, you can use any. Show you a little bit of gameplay on, on how it works. I put in some bosses. Uh, I think I have a, uh, one with a one true king. So yeah, the flies you just saw how quickly they move. They have 30% increased uh, speed and they will uh, do 30% increased damage with the soul stone amulet. You have your doggy that can attack. Uh, you have your little familiar. He does great damage. He also has 30% increased speed. You have two night guards. If you look at the bottom uh, middle, you see your five stacks of Bulwark and three stacks of Soul Shard. Because we have so many summons out now. And also, when you uh, when your flyer takes damage, sorry, I'm doing 80% less damage to him because of the big ship talent. So when your flyer takes damage, you can use your uh, skill from the handler, and that will heal your uh, flyers. Also, when you use a hard relic, it will increase it even more. So when you see your players go down, just use your skill, and then... Oh, my mods already came back. But yeah, you can heal your summons in that way. I hope you guys like the build. I'll put in some gameplay now. If you have any questions about the build, feel free to ask. But yeah, that is D789. Out.
<laughs> yeah, that's right! You scrapped at the wrong gal! Hey! Hi!
That's it.
fire. 